Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to change the cabin air filter on a 2000 to 2006 Honda Insight. In addition to changing the air filter, I'm gonna show y'all how to pull down this center console piece. I have some wires that run up behind this that were installed by the previous owner, which I'm gonna be taking out today, which is why I have to drop this. I don't actually have the new air filter on hand, so I'm just going to be removing this today. Not going to actually reinstall the new one, but I will provide a link in the description to where you can get another one. But what you're going to first do is remove these two Phillips head screws. Once you have those two lower Phillips head screws removed, there is going to be a tab right there and right there which will hold this in. It's gonna be a little hard to remove with one hand, but of course just maneuver this out and you'll be good to go. So once you have the glove box removed, if your air filter has never been changed, there's gonna be a gray piece of plastic that stretches from one side to the other. As you can see, it has to be cut to remove this bar because this is where the air filter pulls out from up here, down here. And if you can't remove this bar, obviously you can't change it. So you will need to cut this plastic unless you want to drop this whole center dash unit. From here, you're going to have that Phillips head right there and that one. You'll loosen those and you will see that 10 millimeter bolt right there as well as one right there. Above all else, I would recommend taking lots of photos before you start pulling this apart. I changed this. I didn't change the filter. I cleaned it about a week ago and I did not take photos before I started pulling this apart. The order of these like brackets and everything and it took me forever to put it back together. So from there on this side, I believe this is the outer trim of course, this little plug right there will go into this plastic. If you can see, if I pop it back up, go back in, drops down, and then this secondary piece of plastic feeds into the metal bar right there. Once I loosen the 10 mil on the bottom, I'll give you all a better angle. Another thing I suggest is always when you remove a screw, re-thread it back in so that you don't figure out or don't mix up where they're supposed to be. It doesn't have to be done before you remove that other 10 mil, but I'd recommend removing this Phillips head screw as well first, just because this allows you to pop this plastic piece out, which will give you more access to that 10. So I meant to get it on camera, but it kind of just popped out with one tug. What you're going to do is just give this a little yank down like that. It's just a bunch of pop clips, as you can see. The last one is down in there which I will yank out in a moment. But I'm also gonna need to figure out how to disconnect the, actually I see the wiring harness for the cigarette lighter right there. So to remove this cigarette lighter harness, what you're gonna do is go around to the back side. You'll just push down on that tab right there and pull it out. Then this will be good to go. So I just got out the 10 mil from this side. So I'll take y'all down here. What you're gonna need to do is there is a little tooth right in the middle there, which kind of holds this in place. You're gonna slide that out of the tooth and drop it down. It might take some wiggling around, but you will be able to get it. Just remember this silver piece is sandwiched between these two. So they both have things which are trying to help it stay in the same place. Um, so it can be a bit of a pain to remove. From there, if you're just gonna remove the air filter and not doing any of this, it's gonna pop this wiring harness out of these two clips and you'll have to slide it over. You might have to tug it a little bit. You'll have to slide it over this piece right here. This unclips from the top, unclips from the bottom. This will drop down and you just have to slide the air filter out. I'll put some before and after photos. Like I said, I vacuumed this out the other day. I 
A trick I like to do is to cut up a little tree and put it in the air filter. It really, really works. But this filter was last changed in 2014. So I think it is time for a new one. Of course, once you go ahead and get your new air filter put in, you'll just reverse these steps. I seem to have some mouse droppings in there, which in my opinion is pretty disgusting. I don't wanna put a new clean air filter in there without cleaning that out. So I might make a video on how to fully remove this black box because I wanna clean this whole thing out of there. If I do, that will be linked in the description. I have some other tutorials for the Generation 1 Honda Insight. I fully detailed and cleaned these door cards the other day. That video will be linked in the description as along with a playlist of all of my tutorials for this car. If this video helped you, I would appreciate any support. I have my Cash App and my Venmo in the description as I do not monetize my videos. Thanks for watching, guys.